secret arms projects and has developed new capabilities that would neutralize any threat from abroad, according to revelations made by Turkey's top defense industry official. It is not clear what those secret projects are, but it's obvious that Turkey has mobilized its resources, allocated significant funds, hired more engineers, and signed more contracts with local industry to enhance its military capabilities in recent years. Some of the main weapon developments are the development and production of parts of the Turkish fighter aircraft, TF. The first deliveries of the indigenous helicopter Kbey to the Gendarmerie General Command. The rollout of jet training and light attack aircraft Herjet. The delivery of Herku Close Air Support Training, HYU, aircraft. The delivery of mini UAVD systems and mini UAV Boigas that drop ammunition. To conduct the maiden flight of Baraktar TB3 armed UAV. To deliver the first batch of Bosdoan and GKDON air-to-air missiles. To integrate Goktaniz close-in weapon system, CIWS, into the TCG Istanbul frigate. To deliver the first batch of Sungur portable air defense missiles. To deliver the first batch of Karak ATGM. To deliver the first batch of PARS 6x6 mine protected vehicles. The first delivery of the armored amphibious assault vehicle ZA. To deliver the first batch of armored combat vehicle ZMA with a modernized and integrated unmanned gun turret. To sign Milgem 6-7-8th ship contracts. The integration studies of Baraktar TB3 armed UAV to the multipurpose amphibious assault ship Anadolu would begin. First new type of submarine project would begin sea trials, and the second submarine will be towed into the dock. New unmanned sea vehicles projects would start. KTJ-3200 turbojet engine to be used in SOM and Atmica missiles would be delivered. First deliveries of early warning radar system ERALP, low altitude radar system ALP and airport traffic radars, HTRS, would be made. The first X-ray vehicle and container scanning system, MILTER, national scanning system, would be installed at the facility of the Ministry of Commerce in Izmir Alsenkak port. The installation of the Gendarmerie Smart Control Point and the Gendarmerie Smart Patrol application would begin. In connection with advanced missile technology programs, the Turkish government has also come under the spotlight in recent years, with many asking if Turkey has clandestine weapons of mass destruction WMDs, including a nuclear device for deterrence. In November 2020 Mesut Haki Kazan, the Turkish president's advisor on security and foreign policy, said Turkey would hire engineers around the world including nuclear scientists to serve the Turkish government's interests. Turkey must have nuclear weapons, ICBMs, then nobody will be able to touch us just like North Korea. Turkey test-fired a locally made, short-range ballistic missile, dubbed Tayfun, which means, Typhoon, in Turkish, over the Black Sea in October. The missile can hit targets at a distance of 561 kilometers in 456 seconds, according to Turkey. Even though there were many declarations and expectations about the delivery of TCG Anadolu to the Turkish Navy in 2022, this target was not mentioned in the timetable. The maiden flight of Baykar's Kizilelma jet engine UAV was not on the agenda either. None of the major missile surface-to-surface, surface-to-air defense missile projects were mentioned as they require confidentiality until it is succeeded. As of December 31, 2022, some of the achievements are Turkish fighter, TF, composite building was put into service, and TF entered the final assembly line. The F-16 structural improvement program continues. An A-400M fleet of 10 aircraft is completed, even though two of them were stuck in Kiev for 10 months. Baykar exported a Kinchi UAV, and Tusa exported T-129 attack helicopters for the first time. TCG Yufik Sigent ship is put into service. The first new generation submarine Pyri Reis started its sea trials. Various types of AUSVs, Salvo, Sanyar, Mir, Albatros S, and Marlin, are introduced, and the contract to procure an AUSV Yulak is signed with Ares Shipyard and Metexan Defense. FNSS exported Kaplan Medium Tank. FNSS has also delivered PARS 6x6 mine protected armored vehicle while a Selsun delivered the modernized ACV-15. Leopard 2A4 modernization continues. Hisar ORF test shots were made, but the year is completed with Cyper 1 that hit the target over 100 km range. Sungur Air Defense entered the inventory. Taifun surface-to-surface ballistic missile, which will eventually reach 1,000 km, conducted its maiden test. The serial production of Taifun will start in 2023 due to the recent Defense Industry Executive Committee (SSIK) decision. 
Kale Arge delivered KTJ-3200 engines to SOMS. First deliveries of early warning radar systems Aralp and HTRS are conducted. The war between Azerbaijan and Armenia caused a Canadian embargo to Turkai on ISR payloads. Aselsan developed its CATS to replace Canadian products. The CATS payload integration started in 2022, even though it was not envisaged beforehand. Most recent, SSK decided to start Milgem 6, 7 and 8 ship construction. The process will soon begin in 2023. Turkish Defense Ministry sent a letter of request, lore, to the US to upgrade 79 F-16 aircraft to Block 70 Viper level and to acquire 40 F-16 Block 70. The Biden administration has not responded to the lore yet, but the SSK decided to upgrade all remaining F-16 fleet to Oscar project level, which is almost equal to F-16 Block 60 plus level as Aselsan's Murad AESA radar is integrated into the project. Turkish Utility Helicopter Project T-70 started the deliveries. Two helicopters have been delivered so far. The Gokbi indigenous helicopter is waiting for delivery, but it did not occur in 2022. McKean VE Kimya Industrisi Inc., MKE Inc., has started delivering Baran towed howitzers to the Turkish land forces. Turkish indigenous anti-ship missile Kakir is tested in Sinop. It is counting days for Turkish inventory. Turkish defense ministry company Asfit stated on December 6 that the submarine floating dock would enter the inventory. Three months after its launch, Asfit announced on its social media accounts that the dock had successfully passed the submersion tests. Roketsan conducted a test launch for the Turkish Indigenous Vertical Launch System Midlas, Mili Daiki Adam Lancer System E-Indigenous Vertical Launch System VLS. The Midlas will be integrated into TCG Istanbul. According to the initial plan, TCG Istanbul would have US-made negative 41 Malawian quachas installed, but due to US restrictions, Turkai did its Midlas independently. Join Intel Prime channel membership today and get access to exclusive benefits. Smash that like button, drop your thoughts on latest military in the comments, and subscribe for more deep dives into global power plays. Because here at Intel Prime, we know power isn't always loud, but it's always strategic.